10 or 11 days, mm -hmm. five games. Uh, rate the, the growth progress so far for you, uh, for you personally. Growth progress? Um, exponential. Exponen exponential, I would say that. Every game we got better, every day we got better. Um, I feel like, you know, we after this for the first game, we just regrouped and then we won the next four and then as a unit we just collectively just connected and you know we were able to finish this thing four and one and for me I felt like I, I grew a lot you know just understanding you know the NBA game you know the, the speed and just overall just getting used to like the new schemes of the of the Mavs offensively and defensively and you know, I feel like I've grown a lot. Is there a lot thrown at you? In some uh, short amount of time? Yeah, a lot. Head spinning or no? Um, not anymore. When it, when it, when when we first started practice, and when we the first couple of days before summer league, yeah, it was a lot. But as you play to it, you're starting to get you know used to it and everything. Uh, Coach Dudley mentioned that um, like when looking at things you could continue to grow on, uh, your execution deep on drives and decision making. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think there's any part of that that can continue to improve? Absolutely. I mean, you know, every part of my game needs to improve, but. As Coach Dudley said, especially, you know, my ability to drive, you know, I know I'm going to get by my guy, and it's about reading the next guy to help her, um, the big guy, and just making the right read. And honestly, just keep, you know, learning more reps. As, as I get even more reps at this playing at this level, I mean, I'm going to get even better at it. It seemed at times when you were playing out of, like, handoffs, like you were the recipient of the handoff, mm -hmm. the Hawks went under. Um, do you feel that taking pull-ups uh, maybe more as your career goes on could be an important part of your development? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, this is something that, you know, um, you know, I have to read. I'm a, I'm a player that reads the defense. You know, if a defense goes under, then I, I'm going to shoot it, you know. Um, you know, they were, if they're not able to stay in front of me, then I'm going to get to the rim. But it's really a part mid-range, three. I want to be able to get a three-level score at this level. So, yeah. Jared kind of talked about what you said what's been your conversations with Jared Dudley what kind of advice has he given you just to get him prepared for the next season? Um, you know, honestly, he's just been he's just been, you know, great in terms of just helping me, you know, understand, you know, the schemes of the way the mass play, you know, yeah, just keep going, say play your game, you know. Uh, be a lot, bring a lot of energy to this team, and then you know, be confident. You know, you, take, you push the ball, you know, attack the rim, you know, rebound, and you know, he's been great in terms of just helping me. You know, as I'm learning, you know, the t defensive stuff and just offensively, where to position myself, when to cut, when not to cut, and all that, those different things. So he's just, he's been great help, and he's just, you know, preparing me and just by telling me, yo, be yourself, man. Just go out there, play your game, and be aggressive, and make the right play. No, no, she's she's playing great. I mean, no surprise to me personally, but um, but no, she she's out there, um, and just to see her um, do what she's doing at that level and and represent, representing Canada, um, it's great to see. You know, I'm super proud of her. It's just the start of the tournament for her. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, representing my country is always something that, you know, I would, lo I would love to do. And, you know, representing the Olympics is something that, you know, I plan on doing uh, in my career. And, you know, right now that roster is stacked. You know, they have great players. And, you know, I think what they have, the World Cup now, is that is that correct this year? I mean, I think they're going to do some serious damage there. And, you know, it's exciting times for the Canadian national team. What did you think of the little guy and his fearlessness? Oh, uh, Jelly? Yeah, no, Jelly, he's... No, he's a he's a he's a he's a board scorer. He's a he's a he, he's made he's made he's a hooper. You call those guys hoopers. He just comes in the game and finds a way to get buckets. And but I'm I'm happy for him. And he deserves it. He put in the work. He plays the right way. And you know he makes shots. And you know uh, for him to come here and and do what he did. I mean it's pretty it's pretty cool to see. As you enter like the rest of the off season, are there any players that you may look to kind of study when you watch film? Yeah, I mean. Different, I mean, different guys in the league for sure. You know, <clears throat> the best two-way play, two players in the league. Um, you know, uh, OG, Pascal, um, uh, Mikel Bridges, you know, guys that are wings, uh, that are elite wings. Um, and just any guy that, you know, that's has success in the league that I can, you know, watch and learn how they move, how they drive, how they, 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 they play defense. Because even though, you know, we know how to play basketball, the NBA game is a little different than the college game. So we got to just be able to see different players, you know, and see how they move and just try to grow and watch a lot of film. Um, how would you sum up your 
and some of the experience. I know we started off a bit, um, took some time to get on the mm -hmm. court. Mm -hmm. um, we were playing a lot at the beginning, but just gradually we were getting you in. How would you describe it? And I think you played like most of the game last time. Too. So yeah. I think I think it was great. Um, you know, like you said, coming in, the first game was really like a first practice. I only had one practice before the first game. It was just like a feel out game for me. And every game I just felt more and more comfortable in the in the offense and you know defensively and then I was just starting to, you know, to start playing my game and just play to my advantages and my strengths. And as the game went on, I, it just slowed down for me. Everything slowed down. I could see, you know, the gaps, driving angles, you know, went to, you know, uh, space out and shoot, push and transition, make the right reading. And as we get, you know, the last couple of games in this game, I just, you know, felt more comfortable out there. And I felt like, you know, I played really well. And, you know, it was the reason why we went 4-1, and one, you know, um, because every game we, we got better, my team got better. And, you know, that's, that's where it's at. And I'm glad of what we did. I'm happy with what we did here. So thank you. Thanks, Omex. Appreciate it.